Garmin Index blood pressure monitor and it came in this FedEx blister pack along with this and these. They were just loose laying in here. Uh, I'm going see I have the Garmin watch and the and this and my bike over there is rigged up with all kinds of Garmin things so I've been using Garmin Connect. I decided that it's going to be cold and I should run. So I'm getting everything together that I need. I was impressed by this Garmin Connect. So this has gotten a couple of bad reviews on Amazon. It's the quick start manual. It ultimately came from Amazon, so I like their return policy. I'm not going to take these covers off. I guess this, you pull this in, and probably the battery. So I have another blood pressure cuff that I will compare this to. So here we go. Remove the pull tab from the battery cover. Press any button. Well, okay. And now that button doesn't work. Must be a button on here like one, two, or three. One. Oh yeah, so now it's going to want to... I guess it wants to know something here. Read all the instructions before measuring. Don't eat, smoke, or exercise before measuring. Well, that means I'll never be able to measure. Relax five minutes before measuring. Also means I'll never be able to take a measurement. Use the same arm each time, no problem with that. At the same time each day, don't put big clothes under it, don't talk, avoid distractions. I now need to stop and read all of the instructions before measuring. Here's an interesting tip. So you can adjust this thing so you can remove the cuff without adjusting it each time. There's also a provision for calculating the averages of three measurements in a row. You need your feet fat, flat on the floor, I never do that. I sit up in bed, press any button to wake the device up, select an option, it says select an option, We're, press any button, then it says select an option. Well, where's the options? Now it's going to start. See, I'm I'm wondering if it's somehow expecting to have a user put in. Oh, now there's a Bluetooth connection. Now it looks like it wants to talk to the phone. I guess what it's asking for is to identify you with your phone. Okay, back to the instructions. Setting up reminders and users know 
I don't want to do that. Ready when you are. Got it. Okay, so now, look, oh, my initials just showed up on this. I'm going to take this off. And there's also a protection here. And I pulled out a little thing. So there's a, there's a battery in here. So I have this thing set to my arm, pressing this button here, hold on it. Three hearts show up. Now I shouldn't be taking my blood pressure with my, with my arm being held up like this. It's above my heart. I'm sitting with my legs crossed. Only thing else I could be doing wrong is walking around or running. So we'll let it take it three times. Gonna count down for a minute. Put my arm on the table like I'm supposed to. If I slouch my heart's way down here, you should have your back against the chair. So you get an idea how finicky this is. All right, that's the second measurement. Now it's counting down 60 seconds. One sixty over ninety, fifty-eight. Sometimes when you go like this, there we go. You just flip down, and there it goes. Reading stage two. I don't know what that means. Based on American Heart Association health-related data, red. That means stage two hypertension, and. Yeah, see, look at that. So if you're in the red, you have high blood pressure. But we'll see what this exercise program is gonna do. And the next thing we'll hook up is the Garmin scale. And we'll continue to take blood pressure and see how this all sorts out. Maybe if I have blood pressure, we can document the usefulness of uh, monitoring your health status. What is this? this is a 400, 400, 300, uh, six, four, 500, 300. What, there's $2,000 at least worth of uh, equipment here, but I guess it's better than a night in the hospital.